This is Earl Amin with the 2020 Foresight Podcast, where CEOs of mid-sized companies share their insights. It is six questions in nine minutes because top CEOs know how to listen and be concise. So let's get to it. Question number one. In just a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. My name is Bob Pizzini. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of iFly Virginia Beach Indoor Skydiving. I also started a company called Elevate Your Leadership, which is a coach and consulting organization. I started that because I believe strongly in leadership. I am a 26-year U.S. Navy veteran, and I've been in the private sector now for 10 years, and I'm enjoying every single day. <laughs> to be sure. Question number two, what's the best thing about being the CEO? There's uh, several factors, but the best thing is leading the team to success, leading the team to victory, leading individuals to their own individual successes and their own individual victories. Watching people achieve and accomplish is really the best thing about being a CEO. Excellent. Question number three. I hear from other CEOs that leading their teams and being able to see the road ahead can be challenging. What are your thoughts? Uh, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Certainly. I hear from other CEOs that leading their team and being able to see what lies ahead can be a challenge. What are your thoughts? Well, my thoughts, especially in this COVID-19 pandemic environment, is seeing ahead is definitely a challenge, a significant challenge. Uh, but I also know that you can only see so far ahead. Um, the fog lifts a little more every day, but you can only see so far ahead. Uh, with that, my approach is to only uh, act uh, based on how far it is I can see. And uh, again, as the fog lifts, I'll take further action for the course correction. But right now it's steady as she goes uh, based, on, based on this COVID-19 environment. Outside of COVID-19, uh, we want to look as far ahead as we can. We want to look around corners. We want to be prepared for next month, next week, next month, next year. Um, today, you know, a CEO should re really never be thinking about today or be involved in today. A CEO's job is to um, have the future well aligned. Indeed, indeed. Question number four. And drawing from what you just stated, what piece of insight do you want to share with other CEOs? That they should focus on leadership. First and foremost, leadership for themselves, continually developing their leadership skills, lifelong learning. And then secondly, and but equally as important, is developing their team, developing their vice presidents, developing their managers, whoever you have in a leadership position, it needs to be clearly identified. And those people need to be trained to lead to the expectation that you have. Excellent. Question number five, what other successful CEOs like yourself would you like to acknowledge and should be on my podcast? Sure. A uh, good friend of mine by the name of Mark Sanders, who uh, owns a company called R3 Strategic Support Group, is the first one who comes to mind. And then a fellow by the name of Kevin Daisy, who owns a company called Digital Array. Him and Eric Olson, they are partners in the business. So uh, there's three for you right there. Excellent. Now question number six, the final question. How do you celebrate a win? So there are several ways, there's, there's several degrees of a win and several ways to celebrate that. Again, going back to the members of my team, when they have success, it could be a simple pat on the back, an email to the entire company that says, uh, Kendall did a great job with this particular campaign. Uh, or it could be a personal acknowledgement. It could be a, a, a verbal personal acknowledgement, or it could be a written letter, or we can take the company out uh, on a company funded event uh, that's designed to uh, allow everybody to have some fun and get away from work for a little while. So several, several methods, you know, bonus is a method. Uh, but I think first and foremost, acknowledging the great work that people do is the quickest, easiest, and really the most effective thing a CEO can do to celebrate a win. Excellent. 
Robert, it's a pleasure having you on today. Tell us this, how can people find you? Sure, so my website is robertpizzini.com. Uh, so my name is in the window there, P-I-Z-Z-I-N-I. Robertpizzini.com is the best way to get a hold of me. And there you're going to learn about my leadership offering, Elevate Your Leadership. I do group events, which are people from different organizations. I do team events, which are people from the same organization. Uh, I like to host the events at my facility. We incorporate indoor skydiving into your experience, uh, but I can also uh, travel uh, nationally and internationally uh, to bring you the best leadership training you will ever have experienced. Outstanding, something look, to look forward to. <laughs> All right, this is Earl Amin with the 2020 Foresight Podcast. For more insights, go to LinkedIn and search for The Gray Owl Company. Robert, thank you. Thank you, Earl.